Southern China has experienced rapid growth in recent years. In 2022 alone, Guangdong's province GDP has reached 12 trillion yuan. This region is known for its robust manufacturing sector, advanced infrastructure, booming financial sector, and dynamic service industry. So in this vlog, we'll be diving into the vibrant world of South China evening life, from the energetic dance moves of the local aunties to the tantalizing scent of the street food and bustling nightlife markets. You'll also find an array of experiences that will leave you captivated. I'll also be talking about the cost of living in Southern China, and I'll be interacting with some locals. Let's see how they react when they see a foreigner for the first time. So stay tuned and enjoy this vlog. Also, if you're here to subscribe to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and join this big family, because in this channel, we post more about life in China as a foreigner. <笑>你愿意吗你们那哎愿意虽然他说吧你愿意吗对可以吗可以吗可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以
One thing I noticed here in southern China is that pet dogs are popular among Gen Zs. Now, let's talk about the cost of living in southern China. Okay, I've lived in China for eight years now and I've visited different cities. And one thing I noticed is that the cost of living in southern China varies by city. Major cities like Shenzhen and Guangzhou have higher costs due to the housing and amenities. While smaller cities like Zhuhai or Foshan offer a more affordable lifestyle compared to the larger counterparts. This is a popular dance here in China. So now I'll be discussing with these aunties. Let me know the reason why they come out here every evening to dance. See how that, see how that. You know, she is saying that she is a little bit. Wow, why? You are talking about the Chinese people. How that, thank you. Why are you talking about the Chinese people? 我们天天锻炼一下身体嘛结束了吗? 结束了吗? Hello. Here in Foshan City, I can as well call this city the Little Africa in China because you will see Africans all over the places. We have a lot of Africans living in this city. So if you want to come from Africa and you are thinking of a city where you can visit and you will miss home, then you can consider Southern China, especially Foshan City and Guangzhou City. Okay, One will ask, is Foshan a good place to live? Well, I have lived in China for some years now and I've lived in different cities. I can say that Foshan is one of those few cities where you can see a lot of foreigners. A very lively city, very clean and a famous home for ceramic arts, Cantonese opera and martial arts. Foshan is located on the west bank of the Pearl River and together with Guangzhou forms the Guangzhou-Foshan Metropolitan Circle. Yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on your notification button to be notified every time we upload a new video. See you next time. Bye.